Even <laughs> right, okay. So we we <laughs> we need to clear up, um, establish, re-establish, whatever, whatever you want to call it, our position on one very very um, important subject, and it and it is important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How important is this subject? Well, it's extremely important, and people just uh, out of frustration you know, lose it. Uh, yet it's so fundamental to the material realm. That's crazy. So the subject is evidence. Yeah. And we've always, I mean, right from the beginning, you know, we, we always, we always said, look, you know, we're, we're not going to waste our time on anything that's unsupported because yeah. it, it, it would be, it would just waste our time, you know? Yeah. Um, and we're quite hot on that. It's a very, very, I think it's a really simple position to be in, a very basic sim, uh, uh, position to, to be in. And asking questions just to establish the, uh, the, the, the um, you know, the validity of, of someone's claim is a perfectly reasonable question. It doesn't matter what the questions are, asking for the evidence shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I mean, basically, if anybody's prepared to put an opinion out there, Automatically, the people we're looking for are people who are happy to have their beliefs questioned. Totally. And therefore, by putting an expressing an opinion, automatically with that comes the right of other people to ask you to support it with evidence. Yet many people just get indignant about this. It's basic, basic stuff. Mm -hmm. And and to me, for me. I know you're going to step in any second, Lance, right? Uh, but for me, it, I don't care who it is that's making the claim. Uh, absolutely. I don't care who it is. It's, He's made the claim. You, you own it. Correct. Right? I mean, you well, own it. You answer to it. Hmm. That's the end. Yeah. He who serves must prove. And, and that's fundamental natural law. You know, if somebody accuses you of something, makes a claim, mm -hmm expresses an opinion you you have the right to face your accuser yeah in this so, case it's about an opinion it's got nothing to do with freedom of speech or attacking a personality and, and i think the important thing um is that and correct me here if i'm wrong but um what we hold is a series of opinions that we've established over time yeah. i We've evidenced the truth of those positions. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we're not that interested in regurgitating ourselves, as it were, all the time. But when something else comes along that challenges that position, as as rightly it should, yeah. it has to do it on the same basis that we established the position, i.e. it will then be a higher known truth and we all move along. You know, we... uh, yeah, and that basically is, you know, to me, the journey of life is the search of truth. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Uh, to do that, it's very, very difficult to maintain an open mind to question your existing socially conditioned belief system. And unfortunately, people marry themselves to uh, ideas uh, without actually thinking the ideas through or looking at the evidence which support those ideas. And then even worse is they are all too scared to ask, you know, for evidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's insane, In, uh, i.e. people are not questioning that which they're being told. Um, which so, is, absolutely. Um, and, and Brian, I know you're hot on this because what all, all you're really doing is employing Socratic method. You know, what is it that brought you to come to that belief? So this is yeah. a, non, a non-confrontational, you're, you're, you're effectively you're neutral on this argument. Right. Because absolutely. I'm not asserting anything to the contrary of what you're bringing to me. I'm simply asking you, well, what is it that, that led you to this belief? Yeah. Take and, me with uh, you. Show me. Yeah. And it shouldn't, it, this should, it, it isn't confrontational. But the mm. point is, as soon as you ask the question of, well, what is it that got you here? Then mm. to, to, to Mark's point, suddenly defensive aspect is from yeah. uh, Because they then, as soon as they start, to, as soon as you start to ask the right question, which is si as simple as saying, what brought you here? Uh, well, actually, I haven't really got anything. And and then you, you've got an option here as the individual presenting that opinion. 
you can either acknowledge the paucity, I actually know it's nonsense, yeah. or you can do what is more common, unfortunately, being human and subject to human condition. Uh, you can prevaricate, obfuscate, whatever, you know, words. Well, basically, to... that's the fight or flight instinct where uh, by somebody asking you to support or explain or evidence uh, their logic, rationality, things like that. <clears throat> um, the fight or flight um, uh, syndrome, okay, the survival instinct kicks in. Mm -hmm. They feel attacked. What you're actually doing is, in essence, it, it, they take it as if you are attacking them personally, ego. And um, yet, it's not them that you're attacking. It's their beliefs. The beliefs. Yes. Yeah. Attacking a person. However, the overcoming that natural instinct requires an open mind. Yeah. And so by simply changing your belief system from I'm right to what is the truth, testing your own beliefs is what we need to start with. What makes me believe this? Yeah. And Brian, um, have you got your have you got your grass ready? Because they explain exactly well, why. Well, I've only got one. But All right. it's exactly the peacekeeper philosophy. We are trying to shortcut and stop wasting people's times. And the biggest con that you'll see from the alternative uh, people is uh, quite simply do your own research. Mm. That they're saying, I do not believe in what I'm saying. I can't show you the evidence. That's crazy. Mark, if you, if you uh, had not have spent the time that you spent in the green area, there's no way that you would have been able to produce the information that you've produced. Uh, yeah. I mean, and, Brian, like you and Lance, you know, we spent years down rabbit holes and eventually it clicks that this is nonsense. There is no supporting evidence for this claim. Exactly. And to, I mean, I'm I'm like fourteenth year this year. It frust it really frustrates me, mm. right? To 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 when 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 people don't understand what what it is that we're just asking for, mm. right? And and you know it does. There's a lot of people out there now repeating the same things. A hell of a lot of people, as opposed to when I first listened yeah. to people, you know, um, a hell of a lot of people are repeating it. With no evidence whatsoever, and that's another nice little community. Great, but don't don't get the ump when we go. Just 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 bring us the evidence. Don't just keep telling us that you've learned this or you you know you've come across this information or you want us to change our position because of what you say. Yeah, you can't prove it, and we've always said, Mark, right? And and I I I, I don't think there's many people. I can't count them on one hand, put it that way, um, that actually say, if we've got something wrong, tell us, please tell us. And and we've got a few people out there that have commented and we've told you, we've told you. No, you haven't. You actually haven't. Yeah, you've told us, but you've not evidenced, you've no. not rationally presented a, a logical, reasoned argument. Exactly. So. You know, and, and other people are going, oh, yeah, you know it all and... You know, no, it's not a case of knowing it all. It's a case of of having the discipline, right? The 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 real world discipline to actually go. Do you know what? I'm not going to go down the opinion route. I'm going to go down the evidence route. It's really simple. You know, if you can't if you can't hold on to that belief alone. What what chance have we got? Yeah. So. No, I mean, and. People then start criticizing. It's so classic when they've got no evidence uh, and they can't support their belief straight away. It becomes personality attacks. Yeah, just... It's absolutely insane. We're not anti free speech. Okay. We are about searching for evidence uh, for the truth. And having been down most of the, well, I don't, can't think of any rabbit hole I've not been down. Hmm. And um, uh, we're not shutting down free speech at all. All that we're saying is, look, 
We are an evidence-based group. We don't want to be wasting our time regurgitating the rabbit holes we've been down each time somebody new joins. Please, we've got the rules. These here are rabbit holes that aren't discussed here. You express your freedom of speech on the plenty other groups. And when you come across some evidence uh, which supports it, feel free to present the evidence for, for evaluation. It's simple. Yeah, we'll change it. Go and get, go and get a, a, a judgment, yeah? yeah? Then we'll use the judgment. Yeah. But you, you're not, you're not going to... There's no judgment, right? There's never been a judgment. There's never going to be a judgment to, to prove any of this stuff, I mean, unfortunately. A, a good example, Brian, is uh, I started off pushing out, okay, do a section 142. And then uh, recently, uh, this has become a point of debate. Um, and so we've gone through it and I've changed my opinion. They're right. And in that, a section 142 uh, um, literally interpreted is only for criminal matters. Uh, and therefore, uh, you know, what I've been saying in the past, Section 142, is the wrong way to address it. The way to address it is, in substance, the Section 142 is about correcting your mistakes. Hmm. And in Section 148, it uh, says a justice of the peace has inherent, i.e. natural rights and uh, uh, authority under his oath to act according to law, as well as common law jurisdiction. It's not only statute jurisdiction. And therefore, as the rules of equity prevail over the rules of the common law, what's the substance of a Section 142? If you've made a mistake, hold your hands up and correct it. That's what a Section 142 is there for. Mm -hmm. That's the intent of Parliament. Did they intentionally only want that for criminal matters? I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. It's for any error corrected. Okay, so legislating, uh, legislatively, it's not correctly expressed. They can either change it to um, criminal and civil, or, as the courts have done, They've seen this error uh, and they've looked at the substance of it. And yes, you can call it a section 142. You can call it what you like. And in substance, what the uh, common law judgments are saying, the courts have interpreted, hang on, there's something missing in the legislation. And therefore, the courts quite correctly have done their job and filled that in to make a route for a civil appeal in the magistrate's court. For them to correct errors, we need a change. We need to look at the evidence. Well, that's what we're trying to do, Mark. So you know, like, sorry, sorry if you get the hump. Sorry if you feel attacked. Sorry if it doesn't fit your your remit, your your narrative, your goal, whatever. Just show us the evidence. Yeah. No, right. nothing. There's not much more really that anybody can say on it. Can't make it any more simple. Yeah. Can you simplify that, Lance? <laughs> no. No, it's as simple as that, isn't it? Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. We're, and we're all open, all open for correction, but only, yeah. on, only on the basis that we're going in the right direction. Yes. Um, yeah, and the totally. right direction isn't, unfortunately, one we just concoct in our minds on the hoof. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, Good enough for me. Well, hopefully people just stop taking the hump when we ask for evidence and stop taking it personal. It's not them that we're attacking. Not at all. It's the belief, the opinion. Yeah. And that's the difference between free speech, okay, mm. and what free speech is about. Mm. It's about questioning a belief as opposed to a personality. It's yeah. really, really simple stuff. Nice one. All right, mate. Great. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay. Take care.